I'm dying of laughter. What happens if I deep fry uranium? The uranium becomes deep fried. So does everything else in a 100 mile radius. Yeah, okay, I feel like there's some science there that we're just not consider. Maybe, maybe it's just me. I'm a Reddit boy. I'm not a fancy science man, but I feel like, I feel like it wouldn't just blow up. I feel like it has to reach some kind of super critical state. And I don't think vegetable oil in a wok is going to do that to it. You know what I mean? Like, I, I, know, I feel like we're missing some science here. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Calvus. My name is Lumo. It's snowing outside. I didn't okay this. And welcome to r slashed curse comments, a subreddit dedicated to things that just make you upset to read with your eye holes. Let's just get right into it. I just found the most accurate horoscope. The stars and planets will not affect your life in any way. Repeated for all of them. <laughs> the stars and planets will not affect your way of life in any way. Dinosaurs. <laughs> oh, oh yeah. Oh, I got the hiccups from that laugh. Oh no. That's real though. <laughs> That's so real. I still want to know where that impact crater is. I I've heard rumor that it's down like below the Gulf of Mexico, like, you know, further south than the equator. But uh, that must have left one hell of a hole. You know, I want to see it. I want to see the hell hole. When your costume is on point, but mom makes you wear a jacket. Also, Batman. What's a mom? <laughs> Batman parent dead funny laugh. Ha <laughs> ha wholesome chungus 100. <laughs> I feel like this is the oldest comic book joke. Bruce Wayne's not having parents because M died behind Opera House. This entire post is being spoken in glossolalia. This is not good. <laughs> oh, like, that's a pretty good. That's a pretty good costume, though. Like, I actually like that uh, underwear. No, well, not underwear, but base wear. Oh, I'm speaking in PSO2 fashion terms. Oh, but like the the undercoat underneath what looks to be a, a robe poncho combo looks very nice and very well done. I like it. I'm a big fan. I'm taking a bath with the lights off and lit a scented candle. I thought it would be a nice relaxing experience, but I felt like a drogger in a Skyrim dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> As someone who's been playing Skyrim in VR, this is amazing! <laughs> oh, I never thought of it like this! Oh my god, they're just vibing in the tub and we break into their house! Oh my god, I'm losing my mind looking at this image. Oh, this has put a whole new perspective on Skyrim. We're just the bath time bat touch invaders now. Ooh, that's not a title you want in life normally. Having 100,000 followers on Twitter. Having 50 followers on Reddit. Having a follower in real life. Y'all got a real life follower? You have one now. Ooh, stranger danger. This is the kind of guy who goes into the Draga dens just to touch them in the bathtubs. This is, uh, no es bueno, my dudes. This is extreme mall. Is that the correct Spanish for bad? Probably not. <laughs> but God, dude, this is a good dank meme. This is a good dank meme. Dank memes, that they don't always hit it out of the park, but when they do, just... Chef's kiss is wonderful. 11 year old me realizing I needed to glue for the school project tomorrow. That's not a problem. I've learned to make glue using my own body part. Well, that has several connotations that I don't think we need to go about. Oh, that's weird. That's very uncomfortable. And also a time consuming process. Regardless of what you're using, that's just a time consuming process. It's easier to just buy some glue. It, it, you, 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 you know, this is this has made me very uncomfortable very quickly. I feel as if this is completely 180 to my mood, like genuinely. <laughs> I love this image of Mr. Burns. <laughs> him have no chin. Where him chin go? Shout out to my boyfriend who killed me first in Among Us and had the audacity to report the body and go. So who killed my girlfriend? Look at how they massacred my girlfriend. <laughs> my dad did this to my mom. I'm familiar with this kind of thing. Although I don't know what Among Us is. Ooh, your life's in danger. Oh my God. 
that's that's a, that's an effective story. That's an effective emotional piece done in two sentences. You know, it's like baby shoe. You know, baby shoes for sale. Uh, unwrapped, never worn. You know, wonderful, wonderful short story. Uh, this might this might have surpassed the work of Henry Thoreau. Thoreau, Thoreau, Thoreau. I don't know how to pronounce Henry Thoreau's right. Thoreau, Thoreau. Poet man done what live in woods like caveman shack built made poem in woods, but with off the grid. That should be enough information for you to understand who I'm talking about. Do I know who I'm talking about? Do I ever know who I'm talking about? Y'all know the answer to this kind of thing if you've been here before, but the answer to all is no. I'm stringing together words and sentences out of my meat flap to create the funny ha ha's for you. So I hope you laughed on this post we're moving on. <laughs> The milk struggling not to expire a week in the fridge. The ketchup who has been there for seven months. Pathetic. The dead body that's been there since 2007. You gotta pump those numbers up. <laughs> As you know, every corpse prides itself on how long it can go without decomposing. You can be the proudest corpse in the world if you die in Antarctica. So long as a polar bear doesn't eat you, you'll never decay. <laughs> I don't know why I find Principal Skinner saying pathetic to be the funniest thing, but something about it tickles the dopamine in my brain to just activate. Like, this is the, this is the action that activates the neurons for me. Stop being fake deep. Just post about slugs or something. Do you think slugs have the same consistency as gum when you chew them, or are they more like other meats? Like chicken. Post cancelled. Thanks. Always happy to help. <laughs> I feel like we've seen Thickle Ass before. I feel like we've seen them on other cursed comments. I think this might just be their thing. Just going around and making everything so much worse for the rest of the collective society that they live in on the internet. That's just brutally terrible and disgusting and vile and I applaud you. I have a plate of cookies to my left and I no longer want to touch the chewy ones. You have ruined this for me, Thickleus. You have brought me to my knees with your inane power. I'm going to buy a random person who retweets this a professional hitman. Giveaway ends on the first. Do we have to pay for shipping? <laughs> if you're wondering why I use generic voices for these two well-established YouTubers, um, it's because I don't know what they sound like. I have never watched either of their content. The only thing I know about Dream is that he cheated a speedrun. And the only thing I know about Mr. Beast is the man's got pockets deeper than the Mariana Trench and he's a philanthropist. But that's all I know. I don't know the rest of it. I don't know what they sound like. I, do I don't know anything past their base levels. And I only know about Dream because the poor Twitter description guy has to write a goddamn trending description for the dude every other day. Can we get hashtag respect the Twitter, the Twitter description guy going? Is that a thing we can do? I don't think that's a thing we have the clout to do. But please, that poor Twitter description dude has had it too rough for too long. First K-pop stands, then Dream stands. When will the madness end? The dude just wants to write celebrity gossip. <laughs> <laughs> Who is your favorite trading hero? Jeff Bezos, ex-wife. Married here, divorced here. <laughs> oh my god, that's not a gold digger, that's a gold ascension right there. Ah, oh, apparently, um, apparently, uh, Bezos actually just cheated on her. She was there the entire way, helped him build the company, and then he acted like a scumbag. Wow, richest man in the world acting like a scumbag? I'm shocked, shook even, maybe even somewhat perturbed. Surprised! No, I'm not surprised in the slightest, let's be real. Let's just be realistic about this, children. He's got more, he's got, he's got more hair than he has morals. Chef Bezos a shiny boy. I'm obsessed with this therapy horse that looks like it has the soul of a murdered Victorian era child! Oh! <laughs> I love how the dog is so delightfully cheerful while the horse is like, Mrs. Havisham killed me. Is this a crossover episode? Wait, that, that is, this is a, this is a real life Bojack Horseman reference right here. That is Mr. Peanut Butter and the Bojack himself. That, that actually looks like how Bojack looked as a child and it's kind of slaying me. It is, I, I'm gonna be carrying the presents around this world this year because I am slain, my dude. That is just, yeah, even the comments are just like that's Bojack and Mr. Peanut Butter. 
I love this depressed horse. I love this depressed, traumatized horse who has the soul of a child inside of it. I love Five Nights at Freddy's The New Universe. Ah, 2021, you are spoiling us already. Pigeon that flew all the way around the world from US to Australia may be executed. I'm sure the pigeon, if asked, would take execution rather than being sent back to the United States. Yeah. Anyone got any vacancies in Canada? <laughs> I'm evacuating. <laughs> ah, anyway, tune in next week where our capital is plunged into chaos as aliens take over. Oh. Anyone want to open it? Do not open the forbidden tuna. It explodes in the chunky goodness. Dude, man, okay. I, landmines still being a thing that some countries have to deal with thanks to proxy wars, that completely screws me up. The concept that like, from wars decades ago, you might die because someone forgot to remove some landmines. Like that, that genuinely like, purples my nurples, my dude. Like that is just, oh, it's so awful. It's so awful that the forbidden tuna is still an epidemic in some parts of the world. Cursed ambulance. I know Amazon drivers be like, damn, this house again? <clears throat> I work on an ambulance. The thought is the same. Yikes. <laughs> Do you have routine visits to certain houses? Is that, is that normal? I don't know. I, I'll never know. I don't know. I'm just a dude. I'm just a boy. Oh, I hope to God that's not a normal thing, because I do not want to be that guy who has a recurring hospital visit. Anyway, that's all the time we have here today on Calbus. If you like this, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, and maybe share it with a friend who could use a good old fashioned curse in their life. If you want more r slash curse comments, there'll be another one popping up in just a couple of seconds. But until then, my name has been Lumo. It's still snowing outside. I'm going to shoot the clouds. And as always, I hope to see you on the very next Calbus video. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you.